Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm a cybersecurity trainer. In this post, we will discuss how NIST Special Publication 800-63B overturns the conventional wisdom about passwords in some respects. So let's get started with NIST Special Publication 800-63B Digital Identity Guidelines. Let's first try to understand what NIST special publications are. These are publications that present information regarding computer security, guidelines, recommendations, technical specifications arising from NIST's cybersecurity activities. Though they are mandated only for US federal agencies, they are widely adopted elsewhere because they are so well researched and are free from copyright. Passwords are the most basic of the three factors of authentication, something you know, something you have and something you are. According to the Verizon Data Breach Investigations Report of 2022, Compromised passwords are responsible for 81% of data breaches. NIST Special Publication 800-63B, updated in March 2020, is considered the most authoritative standard for password creation and use. The recommendations of NIST Special Publication 800-63B while reiterating some existing practices radically differ from others. Here we will talk about the guidelines that run counter to conventional wisdom. Linked over complexity. Contrary to conventional wisdom, enforcing complexity can actually make passwords less secure. This happens for two reasons. In order to satisfy the requirement of using special characters, numerals, and capitals, users will simply capitalize the first letter of a common word, substitute a letter with a special character, or add one at the end. Most password crackers can see through these patterns. Since remembering complex passwords is difficult, users tend to reuse the same passwords for multiple accounts. This increases the risk of a credential stuffing attack if one account is breached. Longer passwords enable users to create meaningful passphrases which are easy to remember but difficult to crack. Remember, passphrases are the way to go. Less frequent password changes are recommended. Users often change their passwords in a predictable manner such as replacing a letter with a symbol, say the dollar symbol instead of S. If an attacker knows a user's previous password, it won't be difficult for them to guess the new one. Show the password while typing. It is common to mask the passwords when typing. When they cannot see the passwords they are typing, users tend to select shorter passwords for fear of making typos. Users should be able to see the passwords they are typing. Of course, this option should be chosen only when they are alone. Allow passwords to be copied and pasted. A survey by password manager NordPass found that 70% of people have more than 10 passwords. 20% have more than 50 passwords. Allowing people to copy and paste passwords will be advantageous. They will then be less likely to recycle passwords. Don't use password hints. Many systems offer password hints or require users to answer personal questions, ostensibly to help them remember a complex password. However, Thanks to the widespread dissemination of personal information on social media and social engineering techniques, it's not difficult for an attacker to answer these prompts. Use all characters. Users should be allowed to use all printable ASCII characters in their passwords, including emojis and spaces. This will enable them to select complex passwords that are easy for them to remember while adding a layer of complexity. Breached password protection. All passwords should be checked against a blacklist that includes dictionary words, repetitive or sequential strings, 
passwords harvested in previous data breaches, variations on the site name, and commonly used passphrases or words or patterns that attackers are likely to guess.